Hello students, welcome back. The question is from Gate 2016 exam and is for two marks. This is from the topic of token bucket. Let me read the statement, then I'll explain it. Question says, for a host machine that uses the token bucket algorithm for congestion control, the token bucket has a capacity of 1 MB and the maximum output rate is 20 MB per second. Tokens arrive at a rate to sustain output at a rate of 10 MB per second. The token bucket is currently full and machine needs to send 12 MBs of data. The minimum time required to transmit the data is dash seconds. Okay. So students generally find this question as a confusing one. They think that this is a difficult question, but it is not actually true. See. Students follow some wrong approach and they get a wrong answer. Let me first discuss what students generally do. Students think that bucket capacity is 1 MB and initially bucket is full of tokens. So first 1 MB of data can be sent in no time using all of these tokens. So 1 MB, this is sent instantaneously in 0 seconds. Okay, And now you have used all the tokens present in the bucket. Out of 12 MB, you have sent 1 MB. So how much data is remaining? 11 MB. These 11 MBs of data, they require tokens, but already you have used all the tokens here. Now you need more tokens. Tokens are being generated at this rate. That means these 11 MBs of data, they can be sent at 10 MB per second. Actually, we are not generating tokens at this rate. Just read this line carefully, you'll understand it. We are generating some amount of tokens which are capable of carrying 10 MB data in every second, okay? So just keep it simple. Say you are generating tokens at this rate. So these 11 MBs of tokens can be sent at 10 MB per second. So it will take some X seconds, okay? You'll get some answer. 11 by 10, so it is 1.1 second, okay. So students say total time taken will be 0 plus this, that is 1.1 second. This is incorrect. This is not actually true. See, even if you have tokens, still you will need some time to send data, okay. That will be dependent on the maximum output rate, which is given as 20 MB per second. That means the machine that we are using or the channel which is being used cannot just send data at speed more than this. Okay, so this is bottleneck. So even if you have tokens, this first MB, it will be sent at 20 Mbps because this is the maximum output rate. So let's make this correction. First MB of data, it can be sent at 20 Mbps because we have enough tokens. Now see, 20 Mbps means 1 MB will require 0 0.05 seconds. See, 20 MB in 1 second. So 1 MB will require 1 upon 20 seconds. This is 1 upon 20 is 0 0.05. So first MB can be sent in this much time, remaining 11 MBs. They need tokens, tokens are already exhausted. So we have no more tokens in the bucket. That means these 11 MBs can be sent at the same rate at which new tokens are being generated. That means like this. So the answer is this plus this, that means 1.105. So some students say that this is the answer, but this is also incorrect. Step one is okay. This is true. Let us try to find out what is the mistake in this approach. See, first MB of data can be sent at maximum output rate because we have enough tokens. So it takes this much time, but the catch is during this entire time also we are generating tokens. That means 1 MB of tokens, if you keep on using them at the speed, still you will have some more tokens. That means after you have sent 1 MB of data, 
still you will have some tokens because during that entire time also new tokens were being generated. So you just try to calculate how many tokens will be generated in this much time. So it will be tokens are being generated at 10 MB per second. So in 0 0.05 seconds you can generate 0.5 MB of tokens. That means first 1 MB can be sent at full speed because we have tokens. But it requires this much time to be sent at this speed. During this much time you have generated more half MB of tokens. That means next half MB of data can also travel or can also be transmitted at this speed only. Okay. Then see after this next 0.5 MB we can send this data at the same rate. Okay. So it will take some time. During this time new tokens will be generated at this rate. That means some more data can still travel at this speed only. But this is actually not a very efficient method of solving. Now let us make more corrections to this method and let us just see what is the correct approach. Now just concentrate for one more minute you will understand this question. See tokens are being generated at a rate of 10 MB per second. So if this is the token bucket you are generating tokens at 10 MB per second and you are exhausting tokens at 20 MB per second for the time that you are sending the data at full speed for that time you are exhausting tokens at this rate. So overall if you notice from this bucket you are taking away tokens at what speed? It is 20 minus 10 that is 10 Mbps. So effective rate of using tokens is 10 MB per second that is rate of sending data or rate of using tokens minus the rate of generating tokens. Effectively tokens are being exhausted at 10 Mbps. And initially you have 1 MB of tokens. Okay. So how much time will be required to actually empty this bucket? So effective rate of using tokens is 10 MB per second. I will like to highlight this is the rate of using tokens. It is not the data rate or rate at which you are sending data. Both of these are separate things. Data rate and the rate of using tokens they are separate. Here we are trying to find the rate at which tokens are being used because we want to determine that for how much time will these initial 1 MB of tokens last. That means for how much time can you send data at full speed. We are trying to determine that. Okay. So if you are having 1 MB of data and you are using them at 10 MB per second then they will last for only 0.1 second. So the tokens that you had initially they last for 0.1 second. Because for this entire time you are always having some tokens in the bucket. This means you can send data at this speed okay at full speed or at maximum capacity of sending data. Now in 0 0.1 seconds how much data can be sent if you are sending at 20 MB per second. See let us find out. So 20 MB in 1 second okay in 0 0.1 second you can send 20 into 0 0.1 these many MBs okay that is 2 MB of data. So 2 MB of data first 2 MBs they will be sent at full speed and after sending these 2 MBs of data you will exhaust all the tokens. After this much time the bucket is completely empty and you have sent only 2 MB data. So 2 MB this much data it took 0 0.1 seconds this much time. And how much data is left? Only 10 MBs. Now here all the tokens are exhausted completely 
This 10 MB of data also requires some tokens. Tokens are being generated at this rate. Okay. Now that means this data can be sent at this rate only. Now we cannot send data at maximum capacity because we don't have enough tokens. So tokens are generated at this rate. That means the rate of sending data will fall to 10 Mbps from 20 Mbps. Okay. Now sending 10 MB at the speed requires one second. So total time is 0.1 second plus one second. That is 1.1 second. I'm repeating answer is 1.1 seconds. Initially, I just explained it in a wrong method. There also maybe we were getting 1.1 second only, but that is incorrect. Okay. It's just a coincidence that using that wrong approach, you got the correct answer. Anyways, this is the correct approach. Okay. Thank you very much.